Matthew Gray Goobler, you, remember, you may, oh, sorry. I'm Matthew Gray Goobler from, <laughs> I'm Matthew Gray Goobler from the Golden Girls and you are watching Backstage.com. If I threw a party and invited everyone I knew, who, who, who? I'm joking, I'm on Criminal Minds. <laughs> but Golden Girls is a great show. Who are you? What's your name? The studio send you? The network send you? What are you doing here? Are you the one supposed to replace me? Is that what this is? The network send you? Did that baby, was that sent by the network to replace me? She's right here, don't talk, she can hear us. Just keep walking. Learn your lines. And stay out of my face. Tootie, Kitty's visit to the dentist ended early. No cavities. We thought we would come say hi. We are family. We are family. I try, try your best. Try, try, try your best. Hi, guys. So, da, 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 da. Yes, I did that. And you would do it too for a check. I was an employee. And I was going to get an employee of the month. And that's on period. How's my hair? Do I look good? I will punch your teeth in if you come near me. Trust. Trust. Let's trust each other. Do you trust me? I can't. In my life. Close your eyes. Never trust anybody. It's so soft. For 26 days, I couldn't swallow anything but licking. I had to lick butter to sort of stay alive. Curious. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. On Dancer, on Prancer and Vixen, on Cupid, on Comet. Whoa, I'm good. Oh, my back. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Anyway. <laughs> there is a, a little secret, secret area, which I'm realizing is not secret anymore. So I have to kill all of you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Stop. Okay. Let's. We did it. I. 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 So you don't have to be in the episode. No. I'm in so the episode. So you can go to Coachella. Well, I mean, if it worked out, and I could. And if I, like, I, you, how old are you? How old are you to be going to Coachella? I'm not. I'm twenty. No. No. You're like forty-eight. I'm twenty. No. Like a leprechaun. People <laughs> love leprechauns. Lucky Charms. You okay? Cut the cameras. Dead at. Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Uh -uh. I've electrocuted myself many times. With... Are well, you gay? <laughs> no, I'm not. No. I'm not. Are so you gay? No, I'm not gay. I don't think so. No, but I wouldn't do that, though. You, got a, you got a teal sweatshirt on. You but... sure? <laughs> Point taken. Yeah, yeah. You know what I love? I'm walking down the street. Did you notice my new watch? Of course you didn't, because I got an extra head. Don't be shy, I'm a really nice guy. I'm always judged by my appearance, but if you got to know me, I give you friendship clearance. I'm always picked on because I got an extra head, but that's okay, because I got an extra head. Oh, perfect, thanks. Oh, sweet. Also, I'm gonna need these in an 11 and a half. Read rants, the speed read, I call it, when he's like, blah, 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 lethargic, blah, blah, whatever. And make Hotch go like, look at the one eyebrow, like, does this pretty good? And like, Shamar's like, and Joe's like, hmm. Anyway, moving on. And they, it's an understanding that, you know, actors of my level have with producers that, you know, because all this basically, a lot of money's flushed down the drain on these things, and, 
you know, if it's going to go to waste, I might as well get it. Have you filled JJ's spot yet? No, I haven't. Isn't it kind of hard to go into the field without a communications liaison? Worry about your hair. Okay, I will. In a later, this is it. We enrolled in criminology classes or technical. Chinese mythology, one of the most dreadful something or others. I have no idea what I'm saying right now because I was laughing about my laugh. Who is Rossi? Who is Rossi? Thank you. Can, can we talk about these pajamas here. real quick before we start it's, the interview? I, <laughs> ever since the show ended, I've been sleeping in really late. And it's early here in Los Angeles. It's 4.45 a.m. And I have a strict rule where I don't get on into my clothes until 1 p.m. Hey, Mom. Mom. This is my grandfather. He passed away um, a week ago. I'm like acting and learning Brian, my process. Brian, so, um, uh, something I, I've never told anyone this. And actually, I'd prefer if you don't put this on the, the dock. But before every scene, the way that I get ready is I harken back to my mime work. I used to do mime work. Uh, so I'm in a box. I'm in a box. Convincing Matthew. The thing is, a lot of the moms don't talk, and that's their that's like their problem. But there's no rule book that says you can't talk as a mime. So, for instance, if you're, I'm blowing up a balloon. I'm blowing up a balloon. It's good to say it twice because then it gets in the heads, and then you know what you're doing. You know what you're talking about. Ow, my hair. Walk a mile in these Louboutins. He might not still be allowed in the state of North Carolina. I'm not sure. Flip that view. I want to see, flip the viewfinder around. I want to see how I look. It doesn't go all the way around. I can just imagine I look great, though, right? It's so weird. And I'm this good looking in real life, too, right? Correct, sir. <laughs> wow. Hey, guys. Hey. Got you a hat for your face. I need to talk to you. Hey, hey. And I didn't want him to be confused with the scary clown from It, who lives in a sewer and is terrifying. So right. rain drain. Where's my Aunt Matthew? She's, she goes by Matt. Ooh, that's nice. What do you think of this? Too gay or just right? Oh, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. That, uh, I was gonna buy that. I was gonna buy that. You didn't see that. Let's see. A lot of weird stuff. Ah! I'm like a disease in that once you catch me, you can't not catch me. So I'm looking at these plates. I'm looking at the, uh, the markings and that are, you know, those plates are. Oh, oh no. <laughs> My brother is <laughs> pranking us. He's always doing this. Shamar and I. I know we're not related because he's black and I'm not. But I wouldn't be surprised if you looked at our genealogy tree. If you went back years and years and years, if you found a little hint of relation. Ronald McDonald is the mayor of California. I like what you were doing up there. I thought you were giving it your all, and I'm sorry that the- You think it's easy being the new guy? Theft, it's perks. It's just perks. It's just expected. It's just everyone does it. 
Man, Manny does it, Shamar does it, uh, Thomas does it. I do it because I'm entitled to it and it's part of my payment. And while it's not in my contract, it should be in my contract and they should know that. Okay. I got it. Okay. With you, I don't want that. And I don't want that. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, what? I'll hang on to these for you if you want them later. I think that went well. That went good. I have, oh, just your standard um, human teeth. These, <laughs> these are my friend's wisdom teeth. Get it, sick. Uh Remembered that I'm immortal, so I don't need a tetanus shot. And now, ah, ah, lock ya. I, I got, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I can smell a racist. That's one of the things that I, my my kindergarten teacher, Miss Pierce, said about me. She's like, that kid knows a racist when he sees one. That's not an earthquake. That's me, Goob. What's up, bro? some things on your bucket list. Live video chats are on my bucket list. Cross that out, I can die now. After this is done, of course. Hopefully not dirt. I'm back. He's unique. He's, uh, he's probably one fast. of the most unhandy actors I've ever met in my life. I mean, you put a weapon in his hand and he's totally unorthodox. It's like he has something that should never be in his hand. What is your biggest fear of the abominable snowman? And this is not funny, this is not a joke, this is not a bit. I am mortified, I am deathly afraid. If I even go to a place and I think the abominable snowman might be there, I don't go. If I am going to Nepal on a little trip up into the mountains of Himalaya and I have a Sherpa guide and he's got a long wispy beard that turns into a mustache and he looks at me and he says the Obama snowman might be here, I say, no thanks. And I go home and cry for days straight. It's not how you read a script. Actually, that is how you read a script. <sighs> kids got chops. The kids got chops.